Okay, so to work through this packet here, we're going to be writing the expressions in factor forms. That means we're going to line up as many parentheses as we can over here. We're not, we don't have to solve the equation because there's no equals. Okay, so you're not going to have equals zero because there is no equals, and without an equals, you can't find what x equals. Okay. Now in these pro in this assignment, you're going to see two types of problems. You're going to see two terms and three terms. Now two terms. Now we've added another thing we have to check for. That's the difference of perfect squares that we learned about in a previous lesson. So, negative 4x to the second power plus 32x. Break that up into as many parts as you can. So, we have two terms. So, if we have two terms, we're going to go GCF, and then we're going to see if we have a difference of perfect squares. Okay, and that's how to set that up. Now, the GCF is the same as before. We do have an X at the end. We do have a negative in the front. Okay. Now, 4 and 32. So, no, 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 no. There's 4, there's 32, so it'd be 4. So, then you wrap that up, and you go up there and divide. Whatever you put in that GCF thing, that's what you're going to divide by. Okay, so negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. Then, did I put an x under the line? I did, so we have to divide the x second by the x. Cancel that, and you still have an x. You put an x alongside the 1. Then I divide positive 32 by negative 8. Okay, that's going to be, oh, excuse me, positive 32 divided by negative 4. That's negative 8. And the x divided by the x, we get the x wipeout. Okay, so no x on the a. Now, here's what you need to do. You bring your negative 4x over here. Okay, from here, from here. Whatever's in there comes over here. Transfer this over here. Then exit, and then make two arrows from that, okay? And you see if you have a difference of perfect squares. Well, we have that negative sign like we need. And 1 is a perfect square because it's 1 times 1. But the x does not have a power. Remember, in the previous video, we did xx because it was x to the second power, which is equal to x times itself. But this x is not to the second power, so therefore it can't be a difference of perfect squares. So you just put the word no. And then you bring that parentheses over here so it joins the negative 4x. Okay, there we have it. Okay, negative 6x to the second plus 216. So, this has two terms. So it would be GCF. And then I would see if I have a difference of perfect squares. Again, same as the last problem. Question mark. Okay, so I do not have an x in the last slot. I do have a negative in the front slot, so we put a negative. But don't put an x there. You don't have x in the last slot. I should not see an x going there like this did because there was an x in the last slot. Now, 6 and 2, 16. So I work my way up, and you see 6. Now, you're going to look there, and you're like, well, this, your chart's not big enough to get to 216. Okay? I mean, a multiplication chart is infinite. Okay? It goes on and on and on. This one, the piece of paper, is not big enough to get to 216. So then what you're going to do is go to a Google search, and you're going to type in GCF calculator. And it should come up first in the suggestion once. You're going to click this first one, okay? And then the two numbers we're looking up in the same row are 6 and 216. So I punch in 6, comma, 216. And I come up with 6, okay? So that means these would both be in the 6 row if this chart kept going. So you put a 6. Remember, don't put an X. You're not putting an X. You put that in parentheses and you put negative 6. Now you need to listen to this. 
negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. Now here's x second. Is there an x underneath it that I put? No, because a GCF, this, this GCF I put, that didn't, I didn't put an x there. So I'm just putting negative 6 up there. I'm not putting negative 4x like this one did. Okay, You see there has to be an x in the last slot. Here there is not an x in the last slot. Okay, So we should not be putting an x. Now since I'm not putting an x underneath there, this x will stay to its second power. Then I take 216 divided by negative 6. I got negative 36. Don't put plus negative. Okay, Just put negative 36. Alright, so then we do what we did in the last one. We bring whatever's in the GCF parentheses over. Okay. Then, as soon as I brought that over, I exit out and I make a couple arrows from here. Now, is this a difference of perfect squares? Yes, it is. Because, well, I shouldn't say that yet. I'm jumping the gun. You got the negative sign you need, and 1 is 1 times 1. And then x to the second is x times x. So it's 1 at, attach an x to your 1s. If it's to the second, that's when you can attach an x onto each of these. Okay. By the way, that says 1x, 1x. Then after the negative sign, we have 36. Well, that's 6 times itself. So yeah, that, I made it all the way to the end. I mean, I have the sign that I want, and then that's 1x times 1x, and that's 6 times 6. So it would be 1x, 1x, and then 6, 6. So then if you're able to do that and not write no, you cross this out, and these two parentheses then join the negative 6. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, next problem. 3x to the second plus 27x plus 42. So there are three terms in this. Now you got the GCF in the table. Okay. Just like that. Now we'll be putting the parentheses here after we find it on the table. Then we're going to put A equals. All right, so 3, 27, and 42. Okay. So I look up. 3 is the smallest number. Here's 27, here's 42. So they're all in row 3. Now you don't have the X in the last slot, so don't write X there. You don't have the negative in the front slot. Then 3, 27, and 42, we just saw that. They're all in row 3. So I put that up. It's not going to have a negative. It's not going to have x. So whatever's in here, that's what I go divide by. Now, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now let's talk about the x a second. Do we, are we putting an x underneath there? No. So that x will stay to the second. Then 27 divided by 3 is 9. It's positive 9, so we put it, we got to put the positive sign. So there's a sign there. And then is this x being divided? Is I'm am I putting an x underneath there? No, I am not. So this x will stay. Then 42 divided by 3 is 14, positive 14. Okay, and now that's filled out. Now you take your GCF over here. Then on the T chart, before we do the T chart, we want to cross out the GCF. And the original problem, because this is where my ABC comes from. Okay, you need to do that label. So to find the top, you take the A times the C. So that's positive 1 times positive 14. So it's 14 positive. That means the signs need to be a match. For two numbers to multiply to a positive, the signs have to match. So I'm going to put in matching signs. And it has to add to whatever our B is, which is positive 9. Okay? If you want to put positive 9x, that's fine. I don't care. Okay? Now you divide. So 14 divided by 1 is 14. Now I add those, and it's negative 15. So that's wrong. Okay? 14 divided by 2 is 7. If 
I add those, that's negative 9. So I can stop dividing. I just need to make it positive 9 by coming in here and switching both my signs to opposite. Okay. Now, A, that doesn't mean what you're adding to. It's in the A, B, C. So here's the A. A is 1. Just put 1x to the second power. We're not, and we're not looking at this diagonal loop. Okay, that's dops. Okay, this is not a dops. You do this the same other way. Okay, so x to the second, that's x, x. Okay, and then we place a 1, because again, x seconds, x times itself. Now, 1 we put as 1, 1. Now, 1 and 2, well, let it only be in row 1. So if I divide by 1, it just stays the same, 1x plus 2. 1 and 7, that's only in row 1. So you would divide by 1, and that's 1x plus 7. Okay. And you leave it. Okay. There's your factoring. Okay. You just put these parentheses beside the GCF. All right, 9x to the second power minus 30x minus 24. So now there are three terms. GCF, same setup as on the last problem. Okay, split that. All right, so do you have an x in the last slot? You do not. Do you have a negative in the front slot? You do not. Now 9, 30, and 24. So there's 9. I'm not seeing 30, so I move up and go find 9 again. Here's 9, 30, and 24. So they're all in row 3. Okay, But we are just putting a 3. We cannot put an x because there's not an x in the last slot. We cannot put a negative because the leading coefficient the front slot is not negative. Okay. All right, so we bring that through, put that in parentheses, and whatever we put in parentheses there is what we're dividing by. Okay. So that's going to be three. Now we're not putting x under there, so we keep that as x to the second. We don't come over here and divide the x's because I'm not putting an x down there. Negative thirty divided by three is negative ten. Now, I'm not putting an x down there, so that x stays there. Negative 24 divided by 3, okay? That would be negative 8. So, before you go to the t table, when you do the GCF, you bring the 3 over here, okay? Then you cross it out, and you cross out the original, because this is my ABC, okay? I'll even put arrows here, so this is what we're looking at. So I find the AC product, okay? Positive 3 times negative 8, okay? That's negative 24. So I got a negative, okay? So the signs have to be a mismatch. The mit positive and negative, it has to add to negative 8, okay? Neg negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. Now we divide. 24 divided by 1 is 24. That adds to negative 23. That's way off. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 plus negative 12 is negative 10. Okay, add it on the calculator. All right, now, now that we found it, we make our four parentheses. And we need to know what our a is equal to. So the a is 3x to the second power. Okay. So positive 2, negative 12. And then x second, we break that up into x times itself. So x, x. And then we place that a value that came from here, 3, in front of each of my x's. So now we try to simplify by dividing. So 3 and 2. So here's 2 and 3, both in 1's row. You do not use this unless it's a dop step. Though we're not doing a dop step. So it's 3x plus 2. 3 and 12. Okay. 
here's 3, here's 12, so we would be dividing that by 3. Okay, So that is 1x minus 4. So these are the parentheses I will be putting alongside my 3. 3x three plus 2, 1x minus 4. Okay, next problem. Negative 5x to the second power plus 100, 125. So these are back to two terms. So that's GCF. Then we will check that diagonal row for the difference of, if it's a difference of perfect squares. Okay, so GCF. And then dots, difference of perfect squares. Okay, so is there an x in the final turn on the last slot? No. Is there a negative in the front slot? Yes. So you put a negative, but you're not going to put an x. Now, 5 and 125. So I'm going up here. Here's 5, and there's 125 at the end. So 5 would be your GCF. Negative 5, excuse me. So whatever I have in there is what I divide by. So negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. Now, notice how I'm not putting x there because this didn't have an x. So this x here to the second will stay x to the second. Then I divide 125 by negative 5. That's negative 25. Okay, now you take the GCF negative 5, bring it over there. Now... Again, when you do a GCF and you're checking for this, you want to get rid of this and get rid of this, okay? Because we already got the negative 5 out. Now, this is the new expression we're looking at. We have the negative. Now, remember, dots when you're going down here, but before you look there, you need to check and see if you have that sign. If it's a plus sign, you put no. But that sign is there, and 1 is 1 times 1. x to the second is x times x. So we, we attach an x on each of the ones. Now after the negative sign, here's 25, and that's 5 times 5. So yes, this is a dot, so we fill it out. 1x, the, the 1x and the 1x take go before the symbols. Then after the symbol, the minus, you have 5 by 5. Okay, So negative 5. And then I just, and then instead of putting, and then I cross that out, and then this is where I'm at. 1x plus 5, 1x minus 5. So you put those new parentheses you created from here. Okay. So again, negative 5 is from the GCF. These two are what I got when I did my dots. When I write no, then I just align that to the side. Okay, 10x to the second power plus 40x. These are two terms. So this would be GCF. And this would be the dots. Okay. So do I have x at the end? Yes, I do. Okay. Do I have a negative in front? No, I don't. Now, 10 and 40. So here's 10, here's 40. That would be in the 10th row. So there's going to be an X with the 10. So whatever I put in here, that's what I copy up here. Okay, 10 divided by 10 is 1. Now, this time there is an X under the division line. So then we come over here. X second divided by X. So that's X. 40 divided by 10 is 4. So positive 4. It's positive, so put the positive. Then we are putting an x here, so we need to divide the x's, and that's a wipeout. Okay. Now, bring the GCF over, and after it has been brought over, you get rid of it and the original, and now we're checking this expression. But we don't have the negative sign, the minus sign, like we need. Okay, so that's a no. So when that's a no, okay, we line this up, just the parentheses up above it. You just line that up. So that means that cannot be broken down. That is a factoring.
Okay, next problem. 4x to the second minus 8x minus 60. So this is three terms. So now we're doing GCF table. So we will not be using that diagonal row. Okay. Okay, so that should be the setup. Okay. I'll make the parentheses after I figure out my numbers. So there's no x on the end, there's no negative in the front. 4, 8, and 60. Okay. No, 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 no. 4, 8, and 60. Nice. So they're in fours row. But we cannot put an x because the last slot doesn't have it. We can't put a negative because the front slot doesn't have it. So it's just plain old 4. So when I divide, it's going to be by plain old 4, whatever's there. Okay, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now, I, since I didn't put an x on the bottom, the x will stay to the second power at this juncture. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. And since I'm not dividing by x, the x will stay. Negative 60 divided by 4 is negative 15. So when you pull out the GCF 4, you bring it over, and then you get rid of this and the original problem. Because now to find the top of the table, the ABC comes from here. Remember, we should not be looking this way. That's only difference of perfect squares, which is not what we do on a trinomial. Okay, so 1 times negative 15 is negative 15. So that means the signs would be a mismatch. And that has to add to the negative 2. Okay. So 15 divided by 1 is 15. 1 plus negative 15 is negative 14. So it can't be that. 15 divided by 2 is a decimal. You should skip that then. Okay. And then just go back to your 15 and divide it by 3. So it's 3 and 5. So 3 plus negative 5, there's your negative 2. Now I throw, put up my parentheses, and you put in your positive 3 and your negative 5. Now to fill in the front, you got to check what your A is. We know it's x second, so you go to this A here, not what you're adding to, this A. It's 1, okay? So... I go x times x. Remember, you're not going 1 times 1 because it's here. You're just putting whatever's there in front of your x's. because you know, You're still going x, x, but then the 1 would be 1, 1. Okay, so 1 and 3, those would only be in row 1, so it couldn't be simplified. It would just stay 1x plus 3. You would divide by 1, but it would not be able, it wouldn't change. Okay, 1 and 5 are both in row 1. So I would divide by 1, and that's 1x minus 5. So after the 4, you put 1x plus 3 times 1x minus 5. And the reason we do that is because this turns into this. Okay. All right, 6x to the second minus 17x plus 5. Okay. So there's three terms there. So it's going to be the same setup, GCF and then the table. So there's no x in the last slot. There's no negative in the front slot. 6, 17, and 5. So 5 would be the smallest, but there's no 6 there. 5, 6, and... Uh, 17, so those would all be in row 1. If the GCF is 1 with nothing else, you do not do that. So you're not going to have the little parentheses in front on this one. Anytime it's a 1, don't do it. That's useless because it doesn't change the problem. I mean, all these divided by 1 would stay the same, and it's not like we're going to put an X down there, so then the, the X's would stay the same too. Now I go A, B, C, okay? So, 6 times 5 is 30, and it's positive, so that is a match. Okay, so you have to add to try to come up with the B, which is negative 17. 
So 30 divided by 1 is 30. That is negative 31. 30 divided by 2 is 15. And there's your negative 17. Okay, those add to negative 17. So you put in your parentheses. And then I'll be able to replace this ABC with the two parentheses. Okay. So, negative 2, negative 15. Now, what the heck is my A? Okay, it's 6. So, what that means is the x second I still write is x times x. Okay, similar to how I do a perfect square, but 6 I apply in front of the x's. Okay, so 6 and 2. So, here's 2, here's 6. So, it would be divisible by 2. I would simplify it by dividing by 2. That would be 3x minus 1. Okay. 6 and 15. Okay. So, 6 and 15 are both in 3's row, so we would divide that by 3. And that would be 2x minus 5. So, this has been replaced with this. We bring those two parentheses over here. And that's it. Okay.